Hi, my name is Donna Harris. I'm the speech pathologist at the ALS Center of Hope. This discussion will be about dysphagia or difficulty swallowing. Dysphagia can happen sometimes with our patients who have ALS. Uh, as a speech pathologist, I will help along with our dietitian to determine the best possible diet for you. Uh, there are two areas that I assess when it comes to difficulty swallowing. There's stage one, which we call the oral phase, and that is where in our mouths we have to break down the food, swallow it adequately to prepare for stage two of swallowing. Sometimes we need to change your diet to a softer food or to thicken your liquids, all in an attempt to make your swallow safer. Um, at this time, I did want to discuss oral care. It's very important that people continue to take really good care of their mouth, of their teeth, of their tongue. We want to minimize any bacteria that develops in your mouth because that also gets swallowed with the food. So, the second stage of swallowing is called the pharyngeal phase, and that is all here. We have to initiate the swallow, and at that point, um, all of the muscles begin to contract to push the food down safely into your esophagus. At the same time, the epiglottis does drop down to protect our airway, or the windpipe. The vocal cords close, allowing everything to stay in the correct place. We don't want any liquid or food going through your vocal cords into the windpipe. Difficulty protecting the airway can result in this material entering the windpipe, and that's called aspiration. Several times when you aspirate food or liquid, you can develop what we call an aspiration pneumonia. This becomes very problematic as we do not want to um, get in the way of your respiratory status. Um, any signs of aspiration do include coughing, choking, a wet vocal quality, shortness of breath, or fevers. Again, recurrent aspirations can result in pneumonia, which can be very serious. As a speech pathologist, together we decide on your food choices, the safest textures, positions, strategies, postures, to keep you eating safely. Um, we will continue to reevaluate any need that you have or any change that may be helpful throughout the disease process. So that's what we're here for. Thanks.